Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Princess Evangel W Happiness Mitsuki Route. One thing that surprised me since coming to Vonsen was that nobody ran in the hallways. So what was with Mitsuki-san just now? She was practically at a full sprint. I'm kind of curious. Who's calling me at this time? Huh? You had mistress? Yeah, I got it, thank you. What's wrong? Headmistress is on patrol right now, so we should probably hurry and go home. Aw, why is she doing that? No idea. Anyway, time to go. Yeah. The remaining students quickly left the building. Once I was alone, I stood from my seat. Maybe I should go check and see. Now I finished my homework. Five minutes earlier. Oh, wait. Did Mitsuki-san leave her phone somewhere? Mitsuki struck the door and left the room. She had forgotten her cell phone in the classroom. I was right. It wouldn't be so hasty normally, but right now the situation was dire. The worst possible scenario played out in her mind. Some nosy classmate could be going desk to desk checking if anyone forgot anything. If they found her cell phone, they would naturally try to deliver it to her. If they then got curious and wanted to take a peek, then tried turning it on. Around the same time. Oh, <laughs> what? How what? How what? Nearly an hour had passed since homeroom ended, but there were still students loitering inside the school. Was this not proof of disorderly behavior? And for that matter, was this not due to the appearance of that Okonogi messiah? It's actually an ordinary occurrence on the day of the closing ceremony for ages now, but she had conveniently forgotten. Oh and that's where the the people got the text from. Oh. Yeah, yes. The students scattered and ran at her sharp reprimand. While she was at it, she decided to check if anyone had left anything behind and found a cell phone inside one of the desks. Oh! Oh, what if she thinks it was his? It was, it was, it was Masaya's. The students were quick to criticize these school-issued cell phones, but they were very useful in managing them. Naturally, the ability to lock them with the password was removed. To press the power button. Uh oh. Uh oh. Unsurprisingly, the headmistress was surprised at the figure that suddenly burst into the room. Mitsuki. Oh, look at her surprised face. When Mitsuki saw the cell phone in her hand, she internally let out a scream. Mitsuki? What happened? That was how she reacted. It wasn't the time to hesitate. Mitsuki suddenly walked over and retrieved the cell phone from the headmistress's hand. The sudden reaction left the headmistress dumbfounded for a moment, but her face immediately became filled with anger. Mitsuki, what are you doing? Give me a Mitsuki took a quick look down at the screen and noticed it was still in the process of turning on. The wallpaper in question had not yet displayed. Her heart felt like it would explode, so she was short of breath as she put one hand on her desk. 
これはあの私の携帯ですあなたのはい。It's like he tried to power it down. 様子が何か変ね。みつき、その携帯をよこしなさい。な、なぜですか確認です。優等生のあなたのこと、何も間違いはないと思うけれど、万が一ということもある。Uh-oh. またおこのぎまさやから何か悪い影響でも。What about me? <laughs> oh. They both turn around at the same time. The sending was quite precarious, so it looked like coming was the correct decision. なんですかおこのぎまさやくん。立ち聞きなどと、行儀が悪いですよ。What? But I just got here. And Mistress defensively showed her surprise, but regained her stature in a moment's time. I was not eavesdropping, I just arrived. Yeah. Homework. No, math homework from last week, I forgot it. <laughs> Whoa, whoa! I, I, I won the lottery, so you know. This isn't about me. Anyway, what's going on here? Sore koso, kimi ni wa kankei no nai hanashi de shou. But something seems strange. Itsuki san, is something wrong? I suddenly noticed she was gripping her cell phone. Was she running around to come back and get it? Mitsuki, I'm not sure if you're a good person. No, I was. So, no, Kate, I'll go to the next one. Uh, but that's Mitsuki san's cell phone, isn't it? Nandeska, Kimi, wa. Kanke, nai de shou. But it does concern me. Huh? It was plainly obvious to me, but seemed to mystify the headmistress from the bottom of her heart. After all, Mitsuki sounds my friend. <laughs> my friend looks like she's in trouble, so how could I possibly leave her alone? The headmistress asserted with irritation. Uh-oh. The headmistress thrust forward her right hand as if she might pull on some sort of lever. Why is she being so malicious? I doubt if there was any real reason in particular. Mitsuki san's face was pale, but she handed it over with surprisingly little resistance. After looking at the screen, the headmistress tilted her head in confusion. She actually turned it over and scrutinized it. Mitsuki, <laughs> It would appear the headmistress was genuinely astounded. It's none of her concern, alright. If they really were familiar, then I wondered what it would hurt for the headmistress to be a little nicer. What did I do now? Yuki san refuted, red with anger, and the headmistress seemed surprised yet again. And with a deliberately loud sigh, finally returned her cell phone. 
まあいいでしょう。ところで、おこのにまさやくん。イエス。イエス。宿題を忘れていたとか。聞き捨てなりませんね。ああ。そういえば、数学の鴨川先生が職員室に残っていました。話を伺っておきましょう。Oh, no, you don't need to do that. Headmistress left the room with that final chilling comment. Woo! What in the world was that all about? Masaya san, Ano, Arigato. Aww. Don't mention it. But what was with that? Mitsuki san shook her head. I wonder. Hmm. So, why? Wait. Huh. So, did she see the picture? I'm confused now. Still, you're pretty panicked, weren't you? Oh, I saw you running down the hall really fast. I thought something was up and I followed you here. A wallpaper? If that was enough for her to run like that, was it really that bizarre of your wallpaper? Oh, and the headmistress just. Oh. Oh, I get it. I didn't notice. Oh, wow. By the way, what was that wallpaper? I nodded. Alright then, I guess I should head back. Oh, Masaya-san! Yeah? She bowed her head to me. No problem. And off to homework we do again. If this was the end of it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but that was when the punchline struck. Huh? Supplementary lessons? Yeah, yes. Um, it wasn't up to me. The headmistress suddenly brought it up. Oh. Amogawa sensei seemed puzzled too. But, um, what, what are the supplementary lessons for? Headmistress said that forgetting to do your homework was unacceptable. This is definitely revenge. A total abuse of authority. Do, do those really exist? I'm not sure, but I had to say it does sound right, but you did forget your homework. Crap. Amogawa sensei was pretty strict too. On that note, I won't be here starting tomorrow, so I'll give you some handouts in place of supplementary lessons. Oh, whoo! Ah! Amogawa sensei put the pile of handouts on the desk with a heavy thud. Whoa, how heavy is this? How big is this pile? These are separate from your homework, from your summer homework, so please make sure you finish them. So I'll do you on the first day of the second semester, do you understand? Oh my gosh, separate from my homework? Yeah, yes. When the teacher left, I slumped and hung my head. My, my summer freedom! It felt like it had faded into the distance, far beyond my hand's reach.
Well, at least uh, Mitsuki is going to have a change of heart for me, I think. I mean, that's the only, you know, thing I can think of. And I'm going to end the episode here, everybody. This is the finale um, video for Mitsuki route. Oh, boy. All right. So, I'm, I'm going to assume that she... Helps me, and then some love happens. I don't know, that's, that's, that's what I can only think of. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and Mitsuki proud. If you guys did, then please slime that like button, and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!